Hey guys, so I know a lot of my clients struggle with like knowing what to get with their groceries. Um, excuse the mess in the background. I'm waiting on some things to come in to organize our playroom because it's a disaster. Um, but I can't really pick it up until I've got my stuff in, so we're stuck like this. But I just got my Whole Foods order. Um, I know it would help a lot of my girls to see like what I get for groceries. So I thought I'd just shoot this fun quick video on a grocery haul and go from there. All right, our Whole Foods order was just delivered. If I can unlock the door. Ta-da, we didn't get that much this week. We had a decent amount of groceries. I also, for one, didn't get that much. Plus, um, I'll go to Aldi and get a few more things. I've already got some stuff from Sprouts. I kind of go all over to try and get the best deals, the best foods, and just find my stuff. All right, so the kitchen is kind of a mess because Bryce is actually um, kind of meal prepping some meats for us for the week. But let's get started. All right, so first bag, we've got like a ton of frozen veggies. I rely on these a lot through the week. Um, so we've got the, this is one of my favorites. It's from Whole Foods, the Providential Blend. Um, I have like double of everything on these because me and Bryce will eat a full bag each. This we did last week was, or this is a different one, but we did one similar to this and it was really good. And these are just like cheap, easy ways to get your veggies into super, super fast. Um, oh, this is the one we did last week. This is basil pesto veggie spirals. So good. Um, and that's about it as far as the frozen veggies go. Like I said, we've got double of everything. Uh, I've got the savory chicken breakfast sausage. Um, a decent way to just get a little bit of extra protein in in the mornings. Um, so I like to have those. My little staple, especially as a pre-workout, these are perfect. Um, and that's about it of those. And then more morning rounds. So there is bag one. All right, so bag two is a lot of Addy stuff, but still good. I had totally forgot about these. This is mine. Um, I love Key Lime anything. Siggy's is one of my favorite yogurt brands. And they've come out with a Key Lime yogurt. I think it's temporary. I think it's like seasonal, but they still have it right now. I'm super pumped about that. So got multiple of those. And then Peach is one of my other favorite Siggy's flavors. Um, then for Addy, I get her some yogurt. I should have got the one with beets in it. It tastes just as good. And then at least I'm getting her a little more veggies, but that's not the one I ordered today. I got the wrong one. So it is what it is. It's fine. And then the kid loves chocolate milk. So we got organic Valley chocolate, chocolate milk. And that is bag number two. Pretty simple. And this is everything in bag number two. All right. And here's the last bag, bag number three. So I got some more barbecue sauce and I do already have some, but it's the Primal Kitchens one and it's just the original. It is way too spicy for me. So we got this True Made Foods one. I haven't ever tried this one before, but it's got awesome ingredients and I love mustard based barbecue sauces. And the first ingredient is mustard. So super excited about that. Like, look at this ingredient list. I don't know if you can kind of, it's hard to tell, but really awesome. I love the ingredients on this. Um, some Zevia. I just allow us one a day and that's just, if we're craving something other than water, it's nice to have around. And for me, if I'm really kind of snacky, it kind of fills my stomach a little bit and I'm not quite as hungry. And then last, because I make chili a lot this time of year in the slow cooker, I got us some organic pinto beans. And that's the end of it. And I'm having to hold the stool with my foot, but here is bag number three. So here's a quick glimpse of our fridge. It really needs some organization, pretty straightforward. Got some Addy stuff, some creamers, uh, fish oil, some grapes back there, some kombucha, kombucha, a little bit of Addy food in the back, eggs, Addy food, yogurt, Pretty straightforward. I do need to clean it out. Some dairy products, some veggies, and a little bit of fruit. And then a lot of this stuff we haven't really used. I do love organic fruit spread. Bryce loves uh, 
salsa. This whipped cream cheese can be a staple. This we use some, but not a ton really, honestly. This has awesome ingredients and was super cheap. Um, organic mayonnaise that you can tell we really used a lot of. I really need to check the date on that. This is the barbecue sauce that I said was kind of spicy. So this is our new one. Some just sprouts mustard. Uh, classic ketchup without all the crap to it. Um, Bolt House Ranch, you can tell I'm a sauce person. Some cornstarch for baking. Uh, pickle juice, because that really helps if you tear your hands. And some Parmesan cheese. Hi, wild child. Hi. Let's look at the freezer. Do you want to help? Mm. Okay, open it up. Woo! It really needs some organizing. What do you want to go through, Bug? Okay. Oh, whoa. So, you want that one? That is ground turkey. Um, so basically down here, sweet potato fries, some frozen veggies, rice, sweet potatoes, more frozen veggies, frozen veggies, um, sweet potato pancakes. I really like these. This was for Addie like over a year ago. I need to throw it out. Sweet potato bites. Those are really yummy. Um, whoa, the chicken. I got some grass fed burger patties, high protein birch benders waffles, Addie some organic uh, popsicles that she's never ate, and Addie some pancakes. Don't lick that. That's yucky. Um, that's two things that we got for uh, Thanksgiving, never ate, and then some more just random veggies. Yeah. Don't lick it. it would be fun to do a full day of eating along with the grocery haul video I just did and then show you the groceries I got from, I'm gonna get from Aldi as well. So right now I am just doing a little bit of coffee. Ignore the mess over there. I'm toasting some of these. I'll go ahead and get them out. Um, I'm not working out today, I'm doing a rest day, but I still just eat these, especially I'm gonna go coach the strength portion of class. So I'll go ahead and have these on the way. I do three of them. Um, they're just an easy source of carbs for me. Um, I love them when I'm training. They are a little bit addictive. I don't know why I closed that. But, so be careful with them. And then also with my coffee, I'll measure out three ounces of this Califia Farms almond milk creamer. It is my favorite. And then we'll see what happens from there. I've got to hurry up and get around and get Addie up and go get ready to help go coach. Oh, I'm also filling up my big water jug with water and fresh squeezed lemon. Also taking my morning supplements right after I fill my water jug, so I thought I'd go ahead and show what those are now. Um, and this is by all means not saying you should take these, this is just what I do. Um, not a doctor or anything like that, nothing I say is medical advice. Um, but I do the Oregano Supreme, it has oregano leaf, garlic bulb, onion bulb, ginger root, and cayenne fruit. And I do that to help control allergies. Um, my fish oil by Peori, which is their Omega. Um, love this brand, super clean, super trustworthy. And then this is my first vitamin D supplement. I like it, but I'm still playing around with the ones that like what I wanna use. So right now, I don't even know how to say this brand, but this is my vitamin D, I'll take that. And that's it for the morning. So pretty straightforward. I have a vitamin C packet that I'll put in water at some point through the day um, to make sure that's good. And just trying to keep all the sickness and all that junk away.
If I stand up, too tall. So we're just gonna be kind of like this, kind of half squatting it out. Um, coach, the strength on the class went good, some things to improve on, but it went good. Then had to run by Hobby Lobby for Step or the Cricket. And then I went to Aldi to get the last of our groceries. Like I said earlier, I like kind of switching it up between different stores. So that way I can get the best prices and get everything I want. Um, so during the full day of eating, haven't had, I've just been sipping on my coffee that I made earlier and um, had breakfast. A lot of times it just kind of depends on my schedule. My days are kind of weird and they change. Um, so like today I haven't had anything since then and I'll have lunch, but then I'll have quite a few snacks in the afternoon, I think, or that or a big dinner. So we'll go from there. Um, but I wanted to show y'all what I got from Aldi. I picked up Bryce some avocados because we are having our favorite taco rice tonight. So all it is is ground beef, taco seasoning, jasmine rice, and then like I'll put a little bit of the Bolt House Ranch on it. Um, I think I'm going to throw in some bell peppers with it and just make it like a taco, except on a bed of rice. Um, so Bryce asked that I get some avocados for that, so I picked up some of those. We were out of cooking spray, so got some of that. I love using the olive oil. Um, you can do all avocado oil too, but when you're picking this up, make sure you look at the actual ingredients on there. Um, this one's just organic extra virgin olive oil. Some of them will be like olive oil and canola oil, and you won't even know it or have like all of these things that you don't need in it and that can really um, affect your health. So, olive oil. Why am I out of breath? I need to learn to breathe when I'm talking. Um, picked up some pork chops. Yes, I got the family size when it'll only really be me and Bryce eating them because we eat a ton. Um, and that I haven't cooked pork chops in a while, but I wanted to do something different. We've been doing tons of beef lately. So, just wanted to throw something different in there. Um, more lemons for my lemon water in the morning. And then just, I just realized I don't think I grabbed enough meat. Uh, two things of ground beef. I'll figure something out. Maybe I can grind up some deer meat at some point this week. And that is it. So I'll kind of show it to y'all. So this is literally all I got. The avocados, olive oil, pork chops, and lemon. It's been a grand total of $26 a mat. So not too bad. Not too bad. So now I'm gonna put all that together. I'm gonna drink a kombucha. Um, Rowdy Mermaid is my favorite brand, but it's not everywhere. I've only really found them at Sprouts. So I also get this one. It has way more sugar than I'd like, but I do like some of the other stuff in it. This is the Happy Blend. Um, so it's normal kombucha, plus orange, vanilla, and L-theanine to print out like happiness. So that's a fun one. I like it and it tastes good too. And it, I guess I think it makes me happy. And so I just roll with it. So I'm gonna put this up, try and whip together my lunch real quick. I haven't even decided what I'm eating, so I'll record that when I do it. And then I've gotta get started on my calls.